Hi, thanks for purchasing our gnome kit. I'm gonna be showing you how to make this jingle-tastic gnome here. All you need is a good art space set up and your hot glue gun. Let's get started. I've got my two best helpers here gonna show us what to do. We're gonna open up the white sock in your kit and pour all the rice into that white sock. You can make a little funnel with the bag to make it easier. You might get a little rice here or there. Make sure you got somebody that has really good aim with their rice. Now, once that sock is filled, you're gonna take it by the top and kind of pat it down a little bit, get the rice down into the bottom is what you want, like you see my helper doing here. And then we're going to tie a knot in the top of that sock. And you want your knot to be right down on top of the rice. So we'll kind of push that knot down, there we go. Now, you're gonna take your fuzzy sock and you're gonna stuff the bottom of that white sock down in it and you leave the white part hanging out like a ponytail make sure it's down in the bottom of the sock so pull it up like you see my helper doing here ah excellent now we're gonna need to cut the beard now you can see the the hair of the beard goes in a certain direction and the top is where my little helper is pointing so we're gonna flip over and go to the bottom of the beard and you can cut the bottom of your beard either a little pointed or a little rounded. You're basically cutting the corners off. So it's up to you to decide how you wanna cut. Now there's a trick to this. You want the beard to stay as fuzzy as possible. So keep the edge of the blade that's on the fuzzy side right up against the fake fur here. That way you're not cutting off a lot of your fuzz. You can see very small snips, very slow snips being taken here. It's gonna be the same on both sides. Once you get one side, done you can do the other side now this one is going to be they've decided on a slightly pointy beard it doesn't have to be pointy on yours it can be more rounded at the bottom the main thing you want to do is just take off the two bottom corners now the next thing we need is a little space for the nose in the middle at the top so you can see we fold it in half and cut just a little bit probably even less than is being cut here a little bit out of that middle inside you can see what it looks like when he unfolds it there we go, just a little space, that's where the nose is going to go. So this is where you're going to need your low temp hot glue gun. We're going to put some hot glue just at the top of the beard, on either side of that little nose space. And we're going to glue it to basically where the top of the rice is. So find about where the top of your rice is in your sock, and glue this to where you think the front of your gnome needs to be. And every time you use hot glue, be careful not to burn yourself. You're gonna hold it in place till it cools down to make sure it uh, doesn't come loose. There we go. And you'll notice the bottom of the beard pretty much touches the bottom of the sock. Next, you'll need your skin tone polymer clay. We need to split that in half. And then you'll need to take one of those pieces and split that in half. So we have two smaller pieces and one larger piece. We're gonna roll all three of these into little spheres. You can use your hands, you can use your table. Make sure they're nice and round and smooth. Get all the wrinkles out and the creases. Now you're gonna take the larger of the three, that's gonna be the nose for our gnome, and the back of a pencil works really well. You're gonna hollow it out to take out some of the bulk of the middle. It also makes it just a little bit larger when you do this. So we have our gnome's two hands and a nose. Now I need you to put those aside and take the white piece and pull off a good sized chunk and roll it into just a thin little piece like this. This is gonna be the handle for our mug. Put that aside and take the other piece, roll it back into a sphere, and then just roll it back and forth just a couple of times so it's slightly cylindrical. Now you're gonna take the pencil you were using just a second ago, take the back end of it again, and push it into the top to make a little hole for the mug. Now, you can kind of flatten the sides with your fingers. You can roll it back and forth and do a little bit of pinching so that it looks a little bit like a mug. Now to take the pencil out, twisting back and forth really helps and then we're going to attach the handle of the mug. Just give it a little curve. You're gonna press firmly but gently so we don't deform the mug, firmly but gently. Now to make it look like our gnome is holding the mug, you're gonna take the two smaller spheres you made and putting the pencil back inside the mug so it doesn't collapse on the inside, you're gonna press firmly but gently on either side of your mug. You really want these to stick, so press as hard as you can without deforming your mug on either side and then when you get these both stuck, you can twist again, pull the pencil out. We're gonna need to bake these in a 275 degree oven on a piece of aluminum foil. 
So place these on a cookie sheet with some aluminum foil. And I like to make a little tint to make sure that they don't get any kind of discoloration from the oven. So at 275 degrees for about 25 minutes. I always like to set my timer to make sure I don't forget. Now once these have cooled down, you're gonna take the nose that you made. You're gonna put the hot glue around the open side of the nose and you're gonna stick it right to that little space you made in the top of your beard there. Hold it until the glue sets. It just takes a minute to cool down. Then you're gonna take your fabric and starting with the hemmed edge, you're gonna start in that corner and you're gonna cut a triangle for the hat. So using your scissors, cutting up toward the middle of the top on both sides. It doesn't have to be perfect, just try to cut as straight as you can. And at the top, you don't even have to make it pointy. You can leave a little bit um, flat at the top because that's where we're going to attach the pom-pom later on. To attach your hat, you'll need your hot glue gun again. You're going to build up a little bit of the hot glue right at the base of the top of the nose. And you're going to take the center of the hemmed edge of the fabric you just cut. And you're going to place it there and hold it till it stays put. Make sure you cover up all that hot glue. You don't wanna see any of that on the finished product. And then you're going to slowly start gluing the rest of that hemmed edge around to the back of your gnome's head. Take your time with this. You don't wanna burn yourself. You also, also wanna make sure that none of that glue is showing. And where the two back corners meet, if you have a little bit of extra fabric, just trim off any excess to make it look nice and neat in the back. And the next step is going to be stuffing the hat so that it stands up straight or it can tilt over to the side, either way. You're gonna take whatever's left of the sock and stuff it into the base of the hat and working with just a little bit of the stuffing at a time, just take the smallest amount you can, stuff it into the base of that hat. You wanna do this with very small amounts. If you stuff it too full, it's gonna be very hard for the hot glue to cool down enough without trying to split open. So the less you stuff in the very beginning, the easier it's gonna be for, to hold that hot glue together. You can always stuff a little bit more from the top if you need to when the bottom is all nice and glued. So working just little by little, holding the sides of the fabric together to make sure it's nice and cool before you let go. And by the time you get to the top, it'll be nice and straight like this. Now the pom-pom is going to be glued to the top, but we're going to cut a little bit of that point off. And so you have a little bit more of a flat surface there. Now the key to getting your hat to stick straight up with the pom-pom is plenty of hot glue at the top. So make sure you fill that tip with the hot glue. That's gonna make it nice and stiff for your pom-pom. Press your pom-pom on the top of the hat and hold it there till it is nice and cool. Now the scraps that you cut from the hat are going to create the arms of your gnome. So you're gonna take the pointiest end and you're gonna start roll, roll, rolling it fairly tight from the pointiest end over in this direction. And to make sure it stays, you'll need to put a little hot glue on the last little bit of your roll, like you're rolling sushi. There we go, let that cool down. And you'll do this for both of your pieces of fabric. Now, you're gonna glue the little hands to the end of the roll, the nice flat end of the roll. Hold that till it cools down. You'll do this on both sides. Now these arms will need trimming, so we're going to hold it up to our gnome a little bit below his nose, so the mug is, is down on his belly. And you're going to see how much needs to be cut off of each arm by just marking it with your fingers and making a little trim. Make sure there's enough to reach past his beard on each side. And then we're going to put a little hot glue on the end of each arm and glue it right down below his hat. You can kind of decide where you want your arms to, to uh, go. Just make sure you hold them in place let that hot glue cool down. Now he's pretty much done, but don't forget the styling. You can take his beard and mustache and really fluff it out whichever way you want it to go. I like to pull the mustaches out to the side on each side and fluff his beard out nicely. Jingle-tastic.